Hello and welcome to ShowMeAcademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to insert and delete cells or columns or rows in Microsoft Excel 2007. Now in front of me here, I have a default spreadsheet of NFL statistics from the last year. And although this is all organized in a fairly neat fashion, you might find the need from time to time to squeeze data in. Maybe you have to put in a new cell or an entire new row or an entire new column or maybe you have to remove a cell or a row or a column and we'll show you some ways to do that here. First of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to select one of these cells and I'm going to right click on it. When I right click this context menu comes up and from this context menu I'm going to choose the insert option. Now when I do that, that's going to spawn a second window. This is the insert window. And you'll see it asks me basically what it wants, wants me to do or what it wants to do uh, with the remaining rows and columns or the remaining cells once I do this insert. By default, it says shift cells down. And I'm going to go ahead and click the OK button. When I do that, it does in fact insert one cell here. And after it did that, it took all the cells below it and it shifted them down. Now, it may not be quite so obvious uh, to see it here, but I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of the spreadsheet. And you can see that we have this value at the bottom of the spreadsheet uh, for San Francisco 49ers that's somewhat orphaned. It's sitting out by itself because it was previously associated with this row of data. But it got shunted down because up here we inserted this cell. Now, of course, if you're dealing with a table of data like this where uh, one row is supposed to maintain a certain set of values uh, you know, for a certain team, of course, it may not be very helpful to insert this cell. That's why you have to be careful when you're inserting cells and shoving cells down or to the right because it can affect the integrity of your data. But that being said, you have the capability here to insert that cell and by default push every other value down uh, a row. In the matrix. Now if I decide I don't want that there anymore, I can right click on here again and I can instead click on delete. And now it's going to come up with the delete window and by default it's going to say shift cells up. And I'm going to click OK and you now see that it, it basically repairs what I just did. Now when I go down to the bottom of the spreadsheet everything is still intact. There's nothing else missing. Now if I right click on this again, we can see the options here if I were to push things to the right. So I will click on insert. And instead of shifting cells down, I will shift cells to the right. I will click OK. And now you can see uh, it's rather disjointed as well because now we have the Green Bay Packers value stuck here under games. And we have 16 stuck under points per game, although their actual points per game was 27.2 etc. But that's what happens when we start shifting values around within the table. And once again, if I decide that I don't want that there, uh, that empty cell, I can right click. And when I do, instead of choosing insert, I'm going to choose delete. And this time, I'm going to say shift cells left. This will basically repair what I just did because remember previously when I inserted, I shifted cells to the right. So now I'm deleting, I'm shifting the cells back to the left. I click OK. And again, it essentially repairs my table. Now, aside from just inserting or deleting a single cell or a group of cells, you might also find that you just want to create brand new set, excuse me, rows or columns right in the middle of your spreadsheet. You can do that quite easily and fluidly from here. If I go up to a column header, I'm going to just select the B column that has my team names and I'm going to right click on it. When I right click on it, I'm going to choose the insert option. And what this is going to do, anytime you insert an entire row or an, or an entire column, it will by default put that column either to the left or to the top of the selection. If you're inserting columns, it's going to put it to the left or before it. Or if, if you're going to insert rows, it will put it above or before it. Now again, even though I've just inserted this column, maybe I don't want it there anymore. So now I'm going to right click on that column header. And instead of choosing insert, I'm going to choose delete. And now it's gone. And I'll illustrate the same thing here with rows. 
I can right click on this row and choose insert and remember I said it will put it before the value that I've selected so I, I had selected the Indianapolis Colts and then when I inserted it it put a new row above or before that row and if I decide I want that row gone I can right click on that row and from this context menu choose the delete item and now that row is gone. This concludes this tutorial and thank you for using showmeacademy.com.